love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me each and every day. Just basically, it makes me feel so good that you all are relating to, especially to every video, especially the ones I've really been pushing out for the last couple of days. I've been working very hard to make sure that you know you know the things that you're going through the things that you're supposed to be experiencing or you have been experiencing is coming into play to where we're about to go next so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video if you feel like you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And also, if the videos just gave you some good vibes or, you know, just good information that you really love to hear or needed to hear and you know somebody else might need to hear it, please pass it along. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by the channel and showing so much love and support, which is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, y'all, when through the next few few weeks, I'm going to be go ahead and uh, go ahead. This is my daughter's uh, drawing that she has done. My my baby, I'm so proud of her. Uh, she has been um, doing working on her book that she's trying to get published, and I will be posting it on every description. Uh, her website she has a book and I think it has um, all the different drawings and different poems that you know a whole bunch of people she collaborated with so she's trying to push that out and um, she only got 29 days left to reach the goal of $200 and if you can go ahead and donate to her and let her know that I'm you know I sent you towards her way you know if you can just give a couple of dollars to her it'll greatly appreciate it I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below if you can please stop by there you know let her know her mom sent you there and that you're you know posting a donation even if you can only send a dollar is greatly appreciated so but anyway my video let me see what <laughs> I'm doing too much today y'all I'm so tired uh, the meditation song I mean meditation video that I'm using today is called purify yourself clear all negative energy boost positive energy and deep sleep meditation music this song this music is so peaceful because I've been on a certain certain site and they've been having really really good meditations you know if I'm connected with you um, through like if I got you on YouTube messenger if you can go ahead and subscribe to me there also or connect with me there you know I would never have a problem with sending you any kind of links or we can just chat there as well and you know I or the people I'm hooked up to on Facebook messenger I also do the same as well but today my video is about uh, forgiving yourself first and move past the pain that has been placed upon you Y'all, I mean, you know how I've been telling y'all since we have been activated, we have been facing a lot of dark night of the souls, portal jumping, shape shifting, just all these crazy things that's been going on, going through euphoria, making you feel like you're high. You know, it's just really crazy. But it's like lately, from the dark night of soul, it's been making you face the worst fears that you have ever ever experienced in life, and probably most likely your past life as well. Because a lot of things that I've been, you know, you probably experienced the same thing. Anytime you were in, into a routine, you might have either if you watched a movie or a show or even read a book, things are probably coming out to you that has triggered something that you need to heal from. And it's like really crazy because I was watching, I've been, you know, for the last couple of nights, I've been very emotional. Just very, very, very emotional. And it's like some of the reality shows that I've been watching has really been triggering me about certain things that I'm still healing from, you know, and I always have to keep telling myself, you know, it's going to be okay because my daughter was having the same 
incident that was going on with her, you know, especially about her project and the things she has to go through and I always try to give her positive motivation, you know, because it's like sometimes we need that person to be our cheerleader and tell them, you know, you're doing a good job, you know, you're pushing out these things and, you know, she's like, well, mom, if I tell somebody, you know, a certain person about these situations, I always have to bring it up or, you know, they're not asking me how these certain things are doing with my progression and stuff and they never ask. And I said, sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader. You know, people will not congratulate you on certain things because it's reflecting on how much successful you are against them. And some people don't like that, you know, and I, I told her I had to go through that with my family as well because it was like me having to know that anytime I was like, if I did something really good in my life, I will always want my adopted father to be proud of me, but it never mattered. No, whatever I did, it was never good enough. And he told me he had to go through that same thing. And going through that situation, like, really broke my heart because it was like this morning I was just crying. It was like around 3, 4 o'clock this, mor this morning. And I was just crying and I was just like, you know, parents are supposed to protect their children. You know, especially your father. You always look up as your father, especially with you being a girl. You know, you, I always said, you know, my dad should have been there for me. But he did not, he wasn't there. You know, he abandoned me after him and my mom got a divorce. And it was like after him and his wife got uh, got married, you know, he did, he was making sure she was okay with along with her family, you know, because he used to always hurt. Like if I'm hearing my cousin, oh, you know, they call your dad uh, Mr. Cheerleader. And I was like, why do they call him Mr. Cheerleader? Oh, he's very supportive. He does this and he does that. And it, it was like somebody kicked me straight in the stomach, she, you know, and they were like, I was looking all confused. They said, wait a minute, he didn't do that for you? No. <laughs> and, I mean, I was like, Dag, you know, you can do all these supportive things that you should have been doing with your daughter. You're doing with your stepmom's, you know, nieces and nephews and their kids. So it was just like, I'm sorry, I can't relate to you on those things. And, you know, he always made it seem like, oh, you're acting like a spoiled brat and this and this and that. You're trying to get attention. I'm like, no, I'm just telling the truth. You never were for me like that. You know, I got it when I was eight, but... After when I was seven and eight, I didn't feel anything no more. He, he made sure he stayed out of my life for all the things that I needed him for. So, you know, it was just like watching those different things and seeing people talk about, you know, the things they've been abused about. You've probably been abused. It doesn't matter where you, you know, how you were abused, but you were abused. And they walked around just hurt because these people are walking around like, you know, they're living a good life. <laughs> they're living their best life and not, you know, nothing's not happening to them. And, you know, and a woman that was like a, a activist for people like the Me Too movement, she was like, nobody should be able to live with pain like that. Knowing instead of you being a victim, you can be a victor. Uh, just, just basically know you should never carry yourself small because of these people not being punished for doing these things to you and I was the first thing I was thinking about was you know my, my adopted dad and my stepmom and how they did me you know and all those memories came popping up you know it's just like dad you know my dad married my stepmom and he you know he was never there for me financially or emotionally you know and it was just like he married her and he made sure she had the best life while he made sure I suffered and that was something I had to really deal with and it's just like you know what I have to place myself in a situation to already say even though I'm not in the best place I want to be is to be able to see myself in that best place knowing this is what I'm working towards this is what you're working towards of knowing all these things has happened to you but we can't allow ourselves to be carrying around this hurt this burden this pain of knowing these people did these things to us they might you know they might not have been prosecuted for these things yet or probably it is coming trust me it's coming so you know you can it, it's a hurt feeling to know that my family did this all to me use me as automatic ATM my cousins and them and you know her friends and them will come laugh and say you know how does that make you feel to know that your family don't care about you and they're just using you for money now you tell a child that at 14 that, that's a hurtful feeling. <laughs> that is a hurtful feeling. But it was just like I was telling my daughter all these things that was going on. I said, you praise yourself. I said, anything that you have worked towards, knowing even if you had to do all this stuff on your own, nobody could ever say you wouldn't have got this if it wouldn't have been for their help. When you can look back at all the things you have achieved and you had to do it for your own, you, you know, do it on your own, your hard work, 
nothing was handed to you that is the best achievement you can ever do even if you had to go on that glow up by yourself and that's why i look at the things that i do i'm so proud of myself you know because i went through so much and i always push out positivity towards people I always show no matter what you go through you have that strength to keep pushing when you go through things like this when you've been abused you had people talk down to you 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 know you've been emotionally abused mentally abused physical verbally any kind of abuse that that can scar a person for a long time but you have to be able to knock those balls down and say you know what forgive my I'm gonna forgive myself first for allowing these things to continue to hurt me to keep continue to for me to be holding on to this burden that I should have been let go of so just for me going through that I had to cry so hard last night and I asked God please forgive me for allowing for me allowing myself to hold this this guilt this hurt this pain this sadness for so long because in the long run i'm about to be blessed beyond measures uh, beyond measures and you're about to be blessed beyond measures yes you have been hurt yes you've been going through things but for, in order for you to be able to go to that next level we're gonna have to let go of all these this pain this hurt the, the neglect abandonment whatever you're going through you're gonna have to let it go but forgive yourself first and forgive those other people because the only way you can be able to forgive yourself and love yourself for that, you'll be able to forgive and love those folks. You can love them from a distance. Just love them from a distance. Just pray for them. And you'll imagine how karma will come back so quick once God sees, universe sees that you don't let all this stuff go. So I hope you were able to resonate with this. You know, I know it's been hard on placing loving blessings, uplifting vibes towards your way, knowing things will get better. Just knock down those walls, come out of that tower, and knowing that as soon as you walk out that door, you got tears of happiness. You're opening the doors to so many levels of blessings that are heading towards your way if they are here already, and knowing better days are coming. So, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line, I'll let a chance to hear from you, and uh, give me a thumbs up and share the video wherever you see fit. And my uh, post notification shout out goes to Keith Bush. Much love to you. I missed you. And Miss Mickey Morgan, I'm praying for her as well. But like I said, y'all, please go ahead and drop down by my, my daughter's website. If you can go, Nate, go ahead and donate. I said go, Nate. Go ahead and donate to her. And no matter if it's a dollar or two, it's greatly appreciated. And let her know I sent you there. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.